Hello guys, in this video we will talk about HTML forms. And HTML forms, as you know, they are used for different purposes in on websites. For example, forms you can use for contact to create a contact as form or collect some data from users. For example, if you are logging into some website or you are registering to some website like Facebook, you know that you have to first enter your details. Forms in HTML they are used to call collect data from users and one thing i would like to mention here is that here with html on its own you can't collect details from users you will need some backend or some server side language like php and in my further videos or in as at the time you're watching this video already i might be have created some videos where i'm collecting and showing you how you can collect data from users and save it in databases because i will be using xamp environment and showing you how you can pretty much on your local computer create a server and database and how you can from where you can create form validations and submissions and so on and so forth using PHP. And if you didn't know, PHP is server-side scripting language, which I will be teaching as well. But at this, at this time, I still haven't recorded that video series. So let's have a look at forms and we will have a just a, we will ha look at just some elements of forms because all the other forms or for the form types pretty much you will get when you will be working with html when you will need them and to create a form in html we use simply form opening tag and we use form closing tag for this form and inside this form we use different form input fields like input types and i will show you what i mean so let's create one input text field and to do this we use input type is equal to text okay and this will allow user to enter text oops text guys sorry this will allow user to input text into field for example let's save it let's run in chrome okay and you see here is the field where user can enter some text and you could collect this text and save it in database and next let's have a look how we can create a form submission button because you know in some in all forms there are buttons like contact us or send or save or register and to create this button of your form you use as well input type is equal to but in this case type is submit okay and all form fields are made different with these type attributes and we had look at, at attributes in previous videos and in forms as you see we use type attribute and first to create a field we use type text to create button we use type submit and let's save it let's go back refresh and here you see here is the button submit which allows you to submit this particular form but nothing really happens when we are submitting because uh, this form doesn't really do anything like i mentioned before we would need some backend scripting language we can create only front end of this form by using html and css with JavaScript, we could pretty much validate, but it is, but we can't store this data in database. So as JavaScript validation can be switched off, as you know, all browsers can disable JavaScript. So it's not safe way to off validating HTML forms. So let's have a look at next form field and let's put that form field. And actually let's put BR tags after so br tag is break tab which pushes to the next line for example have a look we have placed here br tag and it pushes now button submit under it let's save it let's go back and you see that now button submit is under this field because br tag is adding a break it's kind of breaking the next element after under it 
And one more thing I would like to do to show you is how by using attribute we can change submit button's name. And if we don't use any other attribute, then by default submit button's name will be submit. But if we would want to give it uh, some particular name, we use value attribute in this submit button. And here is another attribute we talked in previous video, but this is only in input type submit. We can use this value. Actually, we can use value attribute in any form fields, as you will see in further videos. But for, for this, we use value attribute and we can give a button name, let's say send. Let's rename button's name to send from submit. As you see now, it's submit refresh page and it says send so whatever you will put now here it will be this button's name so let's have a look how we can add a text like big text field and to do this we use text area text okay text area opening tag and text area closing tag let's save this let's go back refresh and you see that this is bigger field and this field is the purpose of this field is for text for larger amounts for collecting larger amounts of text from users and let's put br tag after it as well so it pushes send button under it let's save let's refresh and here we go it pushes that send button under it it's not big, but with CSS we can add more, add sizes, whatever sizes we want to it. We, we can make all these elements bigger and we can make, uh, give them particular style. We can put borders around them. We can change their colors, backgrounds and so on and so forth. And we will be looking at it just in some tutorials in couple tutorials left for HTML as HTML is not big. How you can add different fields in your if you would want and by the way these type attributes like I said you have text attribute we have password attribute and password attribute is purpose as you guessed is for collecting passwords from users. For example if we save this now we go back we now you see we have one field and then if we type in in password field we are getting these dots because it's kind of hiding that uh, whatever user inputs in that field and there are other types of these input fields which we will slowly go through or we will review them one by one in these videos by creating different examples because I prefer to create examples and show you how they work in VCSS straight away and then it's easier to learn. So this is text area as you see and now you have button and we have form. And all uh, and one more thing I would like to show you is that all these input types or or text areas or any fields of of your forms can have names name attribute and this name attribute pretty much is not necessary in html as itself but you will use name attributes whenever you will start validating these forms and collecting data from these forms with some server-side scripting language like php you will understand it when you will watch my php tutorial and we will be collecting data from these forms and sending that data to databases so this name attribute allows us to access this particular fields uh, value whatever user will input and when he will click button submit with php by names for example this input type text for example would have username user underscore name you can give whatever names you want with this name at in these name attributes and in php you just refer to this particular name and you collect that data whenever when you user clicks submit button or whatever button is under this particular html form so like I said, you could give to password as well name and you could call this name as well password. 
password and so on and so forth and then in form opening tag we could have another attribute uh, two more attributes and one would be action i would just will just quickly go through you don't really need to know them at this stage but just to make you aware that they exist and so you will have a, an idea when you will start working professionally with server-side scripting languages you will know what these mean so that's why i just want you to see them as in this video so action attribute is when you write php or any other server languages you would write script in that particular language and if your script is located in the same page you would leave this blank because then this form would be validated in this page with that script but if you have written that php script in another file then here you would just specify the path to that file where is that script which validates or collects data from this particular form so that's why action attribute is used for next attribute is method method is equal and there is only two types of methods one is post post and another one is get and they differently allow you to collect data from this form and get is usually used when you are for example if you would create this form and you would wouldn't care about security of data and for example if you would create a search forms on your website you would get use get method but if you would be collecting data from user in with the purpose to of sending it to database you would use post method because post method hides all data from browser because when you use get method it actually adds that data in 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 form of variables in url of particular html page so it is visible and that can it that can be harmful or it could be hacked so you wouldn't want to uh, you wouldn't want to use get if you are collecting data for sending to your server and storing it in database like like passwords names uh, and uh, any other details of people who are for example registering to your website but for search it would be good to use get because then it's easy whatever user types in into form he clicks submit button that those variables appear in for example url in form of url variables and automatically that page you could you could have script which from url gets those variables and display you date from database you will understand all this when you when we will get there in php scripting and so on but for now yes this is html form and this is it, to create html forms we use html form opening tag and closing tag and in between this html form we have all fields of html and we have button and to create button we use type submit and pretty much all html fields or all fields are types they have different types like text type is for collecting text from user uh, like small text not too long text type password is for hiding and there is type email as well control d let's say email this is for collecting emails from user and there are different types of these fields and like i mentioned before we will be talking about most of them or even all of them because there's not too many of them and text here is for collecting large amounts of text from users and so on and so forth okay guys this was about introduction to html forms and yes if you found this video useful then leave a like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and see you in next video